Okay, part 18 of the Catherine playthrough. Um, we're back in the bar for the last bar night of the game. Everyone celebrate. We're not gonna have to look at this room ever again until the ending. This has been some eight crazy nights. <laughs> mm hmm. One more talk with the creepy twins. So are these two just like Al Bundy with that one paper? They just never finish eating the pizza? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> I was like, whenever you see um, uh, a, a bar t a bar person like one of these eating the pizza, they, liter they literally just have the same piece of ha half-eaten pizza in their hand for the entire night and they keep bringing it to their mouth. It's their companion. It's a shame because the actual graphics for the pizza look really tasty. Actually, I'm, I'm getting hungry now. And during this bar scene, everyone that you saved comes back for a final conversation if you choose to have it. Um, but you need to talk to them and have that final conversation to get the trophy for saving them. So do it on your first playthrough. Oh wait. They they only survive if you talk to them. So if you don't talk to them, what does a does an eighteen wheeler run them over when they en exit the bar? Or <laughs> no, but the, you don't the get conversation the you don't get the trophy for it. The conversation triggers the trophy, yeah, and the trophy triggers the the music that you get in the uh, jukebox. So I recommend you do that if you care at all about that. I only saved the journalist, the executive, and the police officer. The other two guys, they're dead. Boo hoo. Then again, they, those two are the only legitimate jackasses amongst the group, the only legitimate douchebags, so, uh, so I, have, they had to come. I have a hard time feeling bad for them, yeah. Right, they had fucked up reasons for being that way, but, yeah. Uh, do they, um, uh, do they become less jackass-y, uh, if oh, you yes, save them? Oh, yes, yes they do. Okay, well, it, that's good. As, like, uh, yeah, like, executive guy with the weird hair, um makes up with his wife and everything and uh, i forget what archie does but he chooses so betty or veronica some... finally and the strip can finally end <laughs> but what about jughead <laughs> what about jughead <laughs> so there are redeeming qualities to saving the jackasses yes yes in that you redeem them yes it's very much like the, the social links in the Persona series. You help them overcome their issues and they move on from whatever it is they're, they need to move on from. It just doesn't really have any gameplay significance. Also, uh, on the final night, you get you get a backup of all the um, of all the photos that you uh, ever got that you ever had from the other Catherine so, on your phone. So the fans of this one can have their fan service too basically it's you know it didn't it's not really fan service except for that one picture in the bathtub it, it's just sort of like a guilt trip like one last guilt trip you fe you fucked up with your girlfriend but yet here have some old memories you know it's like it, if, if, if you, you can't were, delete them if you were like legitimately uh, in a breakup and you got that sort of thing like on the night after you broke up it, it would be like a punch to the gut All right, first up, the journalist. I remembered how you saved me in the nightmare. And yeah, they're all going to remember that that you that the nightmare and that you saved them and all of that. And they're just gonna I, accept it. These events aren't going to end. Now. So wait, how is everyone suddenly remembering nightmares now? Well, I think they they remember like the contents of the nightmares. I don't think that they they're actually. I don't think that they think that it's actually real. Is more. It's. I think it's Vincent that that was the trigger. Oh. What struggling the boss? Now I think it, it's because they they recognized his voice earlier on. They could vaguely remember his voice, and now that they're done with the nightmares and they're saved, and Vincent's out here and they're talking about it, it's just sort of all coming back to them. It's not that they. It's not so much that they don't have the memories. It's that the memories are sort of blocked, repressed. Yeah. And the uh, and the rich kid is eloping with the girl he really wants to marry. What Anna? I thought that Anna was the arranged marriage girl. No, no, the arranged marriage girl is some girl in the is some girl in the background. Anna's the girl he wanted to convince his parents to let him marry, but it, it wouldn't happen. Oh, okay. Men are so stupid. That nightmare is going to continue. But I think. Men are so stupid, but you're very conspicuously going along with this, Anna. You're wearing your sunglasses in here. Are you a demon? 
Or is he the real Cyclops? <laughs> All right. Now the only the only remaining order of business is to drink our final two glasses of whiskey and cocktail. There isn't a chug option. <laughs> no, there's no chug option. You can skip past the thought dialogue that he that he does when he drinks, though. Uh, and now we learn one possible origin of the term cocktail. Oh, I'm kind of waiting for us to get into a little more mundane drinks. This is water. <laughs> Did you know that water is a combination of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom? True story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> But we don't actually know exactly where the term cocktail came from at this point. One of those things in history that just gets muddled and, and we don't have a confirmed story. We just go with the flow. Yeah. Is it the same uh, facts uh, of on the cocktails of, on like each drink every single night you drink that drink? Um, yeah, the, the, the facts that you get on, on any given night are fixed. You only get the last fact if you've gotten all the others, though. All right. And that'll trigger a that'll trigger a um. <laughs> Wait, the rumor. This actually ties into Erica's backstory, and it's uh, her backstory actually has some serious stuff in it. It's like it, it's um, it's implied that she had a rough childhood, and at one point she she disappeared. She actually ran away, but a rumor came from that that she, that, that 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 there was some sort of witch involved. Yay. So basically, what Vincent just did is you you witnessed that entire conversation, but <laughs> you're you're a dumbass. We were just messing with you. None of it's true. <laughs> yeah. Now give me my cocktail. Hmm. Oh, I think I pushed him off. <laughs> oh, he must have been the guy I eviscerated with lightning. <laughs> good times. Good times. I tell her my true feelings. I won't hesitate now. Wait, you didn't drink all of your drink yet. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to have one final ch chat with my broskies. Before your speech becomes incomprehensible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. There was something on his shirt, so I need to shake it off. Furiously. And these guys are the broest of bros. They've been bros since elementary school. Fedora just brings all the dude to the table. Does Toby work at, like, a mechanic shop or something? He works with Johnny at the mechanic shop, yes. Oh. Okay. That's how, yeah. That's that he's sort of like that 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 little kid brother that Johnny picked up and just sort of looks out for you know. Okay. Never mind. Well, I'll be back to normal come tomorrow. I'll bet my life on it. What? Are you what? <laughs> Sorry. Look at me like I've lost it. Can a guy try to sound cool sometimes? Vincent, I'm cooler than you are. <laughs> Trying to sound cool out of context just makes you sound like an idiot. Nah, I'm an asshole. There you go. You seem to really like an idiot or an asshole, depending on what you say. Maybe you can be both I'm at the same time. An idiot hole. Yeah, <laughs> more likely. If you try to sound cool, then most of the time you're just going to come off as an asshole. <laughs> idiot hole? <laughs> that's what I'm going to tell. That's what I'm going to say next time I try to s tell someone to shut up. Shut your idiot hole! <laughs> Do you get a trophy if you get all the trivia on a certain drink? Yes, there's one for each drink. So, all, so if if you want to get all the all the tr all the drink trophies in one playthrough, go through all four drinks. But just make sure you know the first drink you drink every night is always the cocktail. So you'll always get uh, that no. trophy at the end of a playthrough. Yeah, if, if assuming you do your drink, if, assuming you drink it. But there's no reason to not drink at least two drinks per night. So. Sound of that. 
You're telling us not to get your, in here. You're telling us not, so, you're telling us not to get shit <laughs> face, but you said it's all on the house. What do you think you're gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Boss isn't here. Everything's free. <laughs> and then suddenly the house is packed, and that's her revenge. Well, just uh, he Left comes back own. in the morning, and like an entire row of alcohol on the back of the bar is just gone, <laughs> and no money in in the register. Just a little letter from Erica saying she quits. But the beer nuts are still there. All right. Oh, you're saving just in case. Dear diary. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna leave my full cocktail at the table and walk out. It was free. It's free. Hey, I got paid I don't today. Need to drink it. Oh. Aww. Vincent is very dramatic on this particular bar night. Are you going home, Vincent? He's like very anime determined. I think he's doing that on purpose. Because after all, there are only like three buildings in this town. <laughs> I'm sure you'll go to sleep and wake up okay. Sleep can't kill you, Vincent, because you're awesome. Tell that to Freddy. No, Freddy's going to start his nightmare his nightmare terrors next week. Alright, and there's no need for a transitional cutscene, because the game at this point knows you get the whole I go to sleep and have a nightmare thing, so just cut straight to the stage. And there's no other people around, so it's just you having them now. Right? Right. Yep. So yep, that means you. that there's no enemies in any of these uh, stages, then? Uh, you know what? I don't remember. It's been a while. Um, but the Imperio is a stage that only you get to play. It's a, it's a specially tailored puzzle stage, specifically for Vincent. Mystery blocks is now we're starting to get random here. Uh, yeah, mystery blocks. When you step on them, they turn into random blocks. Don't stop on the mystery blocks, because they might turn into spike blocks. Can they turn into black hole blocks? No. Oh. No, they can't. It's the only block they can't turn into. Oh, wait, there are enemies. Fuck. I also see London in France. God, I'm really gonna snip out a half a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I died a lot during this stage. Well, you really are drunk. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Nice of you to be littering with money all over the place. Mm hmm Why couldn't you knock them off in the other direction? So the mystery mm. blocks, I assume, are the are the, the ones with the red uh, curtains on them. Yeah, the ones with the red curtains. And they it's really awkward moment. when they turn into spring blocks, though, because you just rock it upward, and there's no no guarantee that you'll actually grab anything. You didn't get the chest point there, which yeah. I think is kind of odd. Um, well, um, I don't actually use the checkpoints, so I didn't bother this time. Uh, why didn't don't you? It's like I really want to make up for fucking up stage seven, so I'm shooting for a gold medal here. Oh, if you very if you implicitly. use a um. Uh, what the, if, if you if you lose a ch if you use a checkpoint you start with zero you start with zero points in the middle of the stage and that seriously fucks up your gold medal run. It basically so it's like trying makes to get an S rank at Sonic. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's like they always give you the option start from checkpoint start from beginning whenever you whenever you die. All right. And that's that's the reason. In any case, uh, this stage is is three different pathways. You can I think just travel up one pathway but if you want to get as many points as you can the object is to switch paths whenever you see a coin thing over there well and there's really no reason not to because well this yeah, actually i think it's a bit easier uh this doesn't look particularly difficult from what i can t uh, see um it's not compared to the other stages in in the imperio this is actually pretty weak sauce um but uh, it, because, but but that's mainly because they're they're just introducing the new block and they want to give you time to get used to it, really. Uh, yeah, that I guess that's a good reason, good enough reason. It's odd though. Like even the, uh, even this late into the game, we're still having new uh, block ideas being introduced. And well, I mean, really, well, this more is just the manifestation of everything we've learned. Yeah. So, but th th this, this, uh, well, even though it's late in the game, we still have six full stages left, including the two bosses. So it, it's it's not exactly that late game that they can't introduce new concepts. 
I imagine that this level must be a pain in the ass for speedrunners, though, because of the random nature of the, the mystery be blocks. Because you never know what you're going to get, yeah. And this is me, deliberately, I think I'm going to drop the, um, the goal down a bit, just so that I can get to it easier. But just push that one block out, or...? Yeah. Well, honestly, that's and probably then the not whole thing do, falls. You're Lord of the Harvest. Bring it down. Bring it down. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh. Yeah. We're at the end of the stage. Not much else to say at this point. Crud. No, we, 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 we can comment on the bell again. No, we don't. That mystery block is just scaring the, the <laughs> life out of me. <laughs> and then I realize I have a dark block. It's the worst item in the game. Uh, I'll just so, use it. Yeah. Because you can't move that block once you make it. The dark, the, the dark blocks are the face are immovable. That, that, you that, could block your path with that, that if you use it carelessly. That worst move in the game just saved your ass from the mystery block. But it was no. the mystery block. Who no. knows what could be inside of it? <laughs> they Maybe can turn it, you know... So are there, there questions is a, and stuff during uh, this final stage? Yes, there is, and I'm going to explain that now because it's really important. Alright, there are two things that determine your ending. There's the meter, and then there's the questions during this final stage, which are determined by your meter. So the meter is the end-all be-all. Uh, the meter is what determines what questions you get during the final stage. The questions themselves determine what meter, what what ending out of the available endings you can get. Oh, I know. I noticed is... during the bar section earlier there weren't really any chances for you to change your meter. So, uh, no. Nope. So that bar no, section weren't. before that's the like the last point where you can where you like need to like solidify your meter for the end of the game. Then. Yep. Yep. Stages seven and eight, you're locked. So, at this point, I, the first question is actually completely and fucking irrelevant. It doesn't affect anything. It doesn't affect the ending. It doesn't affect... It, it isn't affected by the meter. It's always the same question. Uh, so, you can answer this however you want. Just consider it a survey question and answer it honestly, I guess. And the dramatic question that that affects nothing is: Are you prepared to risk your life to get to, to get back together with your former lover? And my answer is no, because that's fucking stupid. What are what what is this? An anime? <laughs> no. Get another girlfriend. Damn. It's like it, it, uh, like I, I was like you know it's it's great if you love her and everything, but geez, there's there's a limit to where it just becomes obsession. And that is my official honest answer to that question. You know what? You still have that old man smell. Alright, right, this is where the mysterious voice introduces himself as Astaroth, which I've been calling him this entire game, so not really much of a surprise. Probably a mythical god from something or other, he's because a, no, Atlas he's a, loves he's a, doing Hold on. Time to pull up. I'm pretty sure he's just like a, de a, gen a generic demon from hell. I've heard Astaroth plenty of times. Yeah. Ghosts and goblins, Soul Calibur. Well, well, most of the demons in Shin Megami Tensei come from a, um, like uh, a myth. No, there's a, there's a quite a few of them that are just you know the one of the demons from hell. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. I'm gonna. Uh... Well, though, that's a myth, you know. Oh, well, oh, uh, true. Uh, but like you know the. the a lot of people I, seem to like. A surprising like, number like, of people said, "Of course," because, because, but you know, in the context of this, <laughs> in the context of the uh, of the game, it does seem like the right answer. But that question really has no effect on anything, so there's no point answering the right answer. Um, Astaroth in demonology is a crowned prince of hell. He's named after a male. F he's a male figure named after the Canaanite goddess Astaroth. Ah. Uh, Alright, and this stage is actually introducing yet another uh, new block. The monster blocks. The blocks with the mouths on them, in other words. They look really fucking creepy. And do you know what they remind me of? They remind me of the train stage from Darkstalkers 3. Um, because that has, like, a similar so mouth on it. Let me guess you can't stand in front of them too long. Um, actually, they move at random, and at random times. So, you can stand in front of them, because they're... But I wouldn't recommend it, because there is a chance they'll move into your path. 
There's a chance they'll move in completely opp opposite direction, though, so it's not guaranteed. By move? What do you mean? Like, they, 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 by move, they, I mean that they, they slide. They they slide over a space. Also, you can't cling to the front of them because of the mouth. Can you push and You'll pull just them drop off. and stuff? You can push and pull them from the side. Uh, I think you can. I'm not sure if you can do it from the front, actually. But if you step on the if you step on those um if you step on the monster block's top, it'll bite its tongue and kill itself. Oh, and then it's just a normal block after that. Then it's just a normal block. Mystery blocks can turn into monster blocks, by the way. But if they do, it counts as you stepping on top of them, and that instantly kills them anyway. So they might as well just be normal blocks. Can they turn? Can mystery blocks turn into monster blocks in the stage before this? Uh yes, yes they can. Huh. <laughs> so it, it, it's like a real what the fuck? Why does that one block have a mouth on it? <laughs> Why did it just kill itself? <laughs> but Why they, are you? They can uh, only move. Right. On their tier, though, right? They can't jump tiers or anything like that. No, they can't jump okay. tiers now. Man, the D the Dairy Queen mouth got really, really angry at some point. <laughs> I was actually thinking about that too. Edge. 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 Uh, can the can the monster blocks like fall down, or if it moves off of like? I noticed it's hanging on by an edge there. Can it like move uh, too far away and need and like fall down or something? Do you... Uh, it can, yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think besides the mouth, I think it's just another block, so it has to follow block rules. Those red sheep can jump really far, by the way. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Catherine gave us an energy drink. Why can't we jump up two spaces? That is a very good question. <laughs> I never thought of that before. Damn it. Curse you, story, gameplay, segregation. Is it a plot energy drink? No, Vince has just needed to reach something on top of his bookshelf. And that's why he ain't drunk it for that. an energy drink. Apparently. Ugh. Come on, step on the damn mystery block, damn you. Just run, run, run. Go. Cast me. Grow some balls. <laughs> is there like a, a, a percentage chance of how likely a mystery block is to change into something else? Because I've seen it turn into the crumbling blocks more often than it's turned into anything else. I, I think it's more likely to turn into relatively harmless stuff than harmful stuff. Okay. It probably has a higher percentage of turning into something compared to another thing. But yeah, I noticed that like crumbling blocks more than anything, so it's all it's probably all percentage based. Oh god damn it! I've gone and trapped myself in a convoluted solution that probably shouldn't be this complicated. Well, because you you were greedy and wanted the money. <laughs> no, I I didn't even know that money was there at the at this point. I was I just sort of. It's... Oh, every time you undo, you kill all of the uh, all of the monster blocks on the screen a second time. Well, that's it's just the same sort of thing that happened with the the spike blocks. With with the spike blocks, yeah, it's just yikes. Oh, you can pull the, the monster blocks from the front. Yeah, okay. So if the monster blocks move into you, you just sort of die automatically? You get pushed off. Oh, you get pushed. Oh, so it's like getting knocked by a sheep then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You said it's how many stages? Six? Six. Six yeah. stages. Well, it's the final level. Damn it. So, you know, it's allowed to be longer. Not too long, though, because then it just gets obnoxious. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> You're right, you did damn them. <laughs> okay. Oh. I, you felt like killing it just because? <laughs> No, actually, I was afraid of it moving on into into my block arrangement and blocking my path. What determines if they move, though? Because most of them haven't really moved an awful lot. Nothing determines it. It's completely fucking random. If you're lucky, they'll stay still. Yeah, if you're right lucky. There, and if you're go. lucky, one of them will move out of the way and clear a path to the goal for you. <laughs> just to happen. Here, Vincent, I made it easy. Oh, ow! They did, they did. <laughs> Thank you.
Okay, that's stage two of the Imperio completed. Huzzah! Yay. Still on track for the gold medal. Go me! You're gonna fuck it up on the last one, aren't you? No, but I am gonna have to do the last one a lot of times to get this gold medal because that boss is a pain in the ass. Well, because of your infatuation with nightmare money. You <laughs> it's not real. It won't be there. It won't be in your hands when you wake up. And the buying things sheep isn't even around anymore. Well, he disappeared a few parts ago, didn't he? He died at the uh, yeah. the penultimate stage. So wasn't he the boss just carrying of, uh... too much shit? You said. Yeah. So he yeah, fell. he was he was carrying too much money in his bag, and it weighed him down while he was trying to climb. Fancy that. Irony. 